Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 148 due to Webtoon's new policy. I do the blur 50% of the this episode so yes cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down but you guys are more than welcome to uh, read along with me on webtoons.com and for anyone out there who do want to support me i do have this uploaded on my private channel with no censorship and no cat logo blurs they're all available on patreon.com slash ckt chaotic let's go ahead and get started Woo. duke ergie's room in the south palace well, what was it that you wanted to say? Uh, he, your wrist. He must have injured it when the assassin snatched the bracelet. <laughs> if you're just trying to stall me, then I bid you goodbye. I have feelings for you. I did not expect that. Huh? I didn't realize how I felt until I heard you were leaving. Not only do you have my trust, you also have my affection. No, it's stronger than that. I, I love you. So please, don't leave. <gasps> you're, you're just saying that out of guilt. <laughs> You only think you all yeah, you only think you love me because you're going through a rough patch in your marriage. Or perhaps it's all just a pretense. <laughs> you're wrong. Even the mere thought of you leaving me fills me with agony. Please please be my lover. Dun dun His smirk, he's just like checkmate. I didn't think, I didn't see that coming, but it could work in my favor. Oh dear. The truth is, I also feel the same way. So what you're asking for isn't difficult. However, there's just one problem. I'm foreign royalty. It would be demeaning if I become the lover of someone who's an empress in name only. I'll be more than just a mere figurehead. I promise you that. That's not something you can just decide on your own. I... Well... However, I might be persuaded. Huh? If you give me a gift that will help me save face whenever I become your lover. What would you like? Money? Jewels? I have more money and jewels than you can shake a stick at. Then, then what, what do you want? Hmm. Oh, I got it. I'd like some land that's by the sea. But, but by the sea? You want a port? I like being near the sea, since I'm from a mar maritime kingdom. But I don't have... The power to... If you can't do that, then it would be more prudent for us to part ways. I, I'll find a way. I will. I'll make it happen. Oh my gosh, her face. She looks so desperate and crazed here. Girl, what are you doing? The Remarried Empress, episode 148. This is going to be good. A few days later. Much has been said about Her Majesty asking Duke Ergie to stay. The entire royal kingdom could be subject to ridicule if we don't step in. <sighs> People have been mocking us ever since she wore that wedding dress that looked like the tangled seaweed. <sighs> I knew that being in the palace would change her, but I would hope that she'd re retain her naivety. I guess the more innocent you are, the quicker you'll be led astray. Leave. Leave it for now. The baby's more important. Was there anything else? Oh, this isn't related to the Eastern Empire, but it must be about the Western Empire, given his hesitation. It's fine. Go ahead. Um, 
There's a scandal involving the former Queen Krista and Emperor Henry. What did you just say? People start gossiping about after someone saw the two of them meet in a secret and cozy up together during the wedding reception. The former queen then asked the emperor to take responsibility for his actions and make her his mistress. Grand Duke Kaufman testified that he was the one who met with Emperor Henry that night. Subsequently, the former queen fled to Compshire with her tail between her legs. Oh, I did think it was past time that womanizer showed his true colors. <laughs> the Grand Duke went to some lengths to save Navier from humiliation. He used my absence and rashes to tell that lie. Navier must have been heartbroken on the inside. Call Evely here. Evely? What does he want with Evely? Evely was quite fond of you, wasn't she? Could you go to the Western Empire and give Navier a gift? A gift? But Delhar is from you and not me. Oh, so that's why he suddenly called for me out of the blue. I'll do it. It'll give me a chance to see her. Good. I'll call for you when it's time for you to pack. Shut. Why did he cast Nabir aside in the first place then? It doesn't even look like he's treating his new empress well. After all the fuss he kicked up to marry her. What's that common riffraff doing here? Uh? Huh. What awful people. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire... Kosaris gained a stellar reputation after he drove out the spring water bandits. It's like everyone's waiting for him to return so they can ask him to marry them. Is Kosar uninterested in marriage? They could have just used separate umbrellas. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is like so like they're like squished together in like a, an umbrella that's not really big enough for the both of them. My brother isn't interested in anything besides swords and fighting. I'm always amazed by how different you two are despite being brother and sister. You and your older brother had different personalities too. He'd jump at the opportunity to tease me again if I said that to him. Is there anything you want for your birthday? <laughs> hmm. I don't want a gift, but there is something I'd like to try. Uh oh. He's going to ask for something indecent again. <laughs> I want to bathe with you for my birthday. I knew it. I'll think about it. Oh, <laughs> if that's too much of an ask, then let's spend the whole day together. Just the two of us, without even the servants around. Fine, but anyway, why do you want to bathe with me? I like you nice and dry, but I think you also look great wet. How perverted. But now that you mentioned it, you looked great when you were soaking wet. Oh, so, oh. Is she blushed and ran away. After that compact, I returned to the palace and found Merlini waiting for me. I was the one who copied the report, Your Majesty. But why? I didn't expect that from you. I was angry. My father found out that we were doing and gave Yuan some information that he kept from me. How strange. I'm sorry I disappointed you. No, it's not that. Your reports were full of obvious errors. However, if that's the result of your father's interference, then that means he gave Yuan false information on purpose. Uh, he did? But why would he do that? We'll have to wait and see what Marquis Amaris' real intentions were. Anyway, the only thing I can do is set the stage for you. You must use your talents and shine on your own. Uh, you're not disappointed in me? I am. But I'm not going to break our alliance over something like this. Don't let your emotions sabotage any future endeavors, Miss Merlini. Oh. 
Duke Reverie's estate. I'm trying to see who is talking. Make sure you take special care to do a good job should you be given a similar task in the future. You will gain the imp Empress favors if you do better than Merlaney, even if the task was intended to make her look good. Yes, father. There's something I want to want you to look into. There is a letter from Lady Krista that explains the ultimate cause of Empress Navier's divorce. Send someone to Empress Rashta to check if this is true. All right, so this episode is pretty it's pretty messy, but I love it. So one, I did not expect Rasha to actually have some sort of romantic feeling for Duke Ergi. Okay, that caught me off guard. Uh, but then following up, I, I was surprised that the people did not update, you know, Sobeshu about Rasha confessing her feelings for Duke Ergi. But they did tell him like, hey, Duke Ergi is staying because Rasha did ask for him to stay. But yeah, I would think, you know, if he finds out that she said that, he would have blew up, okay? He would have snatched her or like really wait for her to give birth and then just like yeet her. I don't know. Maybe it's that's what he's doing. He's going to wait till the baby's here and then he's going to, you know, wring her neck. But Wow. But uh, moving forward, of course, we have King Henry and Navier being a little bit too spicy uh, about taking about talking about taking baths together. And I'm just like, OK, I don't want to picture that. Then again, they kind of scrolled to the part where he was naked in that fountain and then Navier was like fl flustered and like ran away from him. But I mean, he did look good shirtless, just saying. But man, this episode is so messy. But now, of course, there's people who are trying to cause some harm towards Navier. And now they're going to go towards Rashta and figure out why did Sobeshu dumped Navier as an empress so they can just, yeah, ruin her Navier's reputation in the Western Kingdom. So it's a lot of di to like digest in this episode because it's not just one or two plot or you know two stories going on this time it has about three to four moving parts so it's a great episode all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way i read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments of how y'all feel about this episode and what y'all think is gonna happen in the next few um if you guys are about to spoil it Please put spoiler at the very top and then space, 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 and then type your spoilers. I love reading them. I will continue reading regardless if you guys spoil it or not. But don't spoil for other people. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.